What is going on Bolt Nation and welcome to another Assassin's Creed video. In today's video I'm going to tell you a couple things not only how to beat Anubis in the new Anubis Trials of the Gods in Assassin's Creed I'm also going to tell you how you'll be able to unlock the Anubis gear set and also what are the best weapons you could possibly use when you're playing this Trials of the Gods. So the first god that we're going to be fighting is Anubis and he is a bad boy man he comes out of the desert like Padel. So what's going to happen is when you uh, start up your Assassin's Creed, if you had so already, you're going to notice that it's going to say that the Trials of Gods are, are available and that you're able to participate. All you're going to want to do is head to this section that's going to be marked on your map. So at a, set a waypoint and just head over there. As soon as you spawn, uh, get close to it, you will see the God will come out of the desert and you will be ready to start the encounter. Now, a quick reminder that I do want to let you guys know, this is for high level players. Um, you're able to do it even though you're like a 38. I would say that if you're 37 or higher, you should definitely give it a try. It's not that hard. I thought it was going to be a little bit more difficult, but it's not that hard. Especially if you use the tips I'm going to give you, you should be able to knock this out without a problem. So now let's go ahead and talk about what weapons are going to be required and what you're going to need exactly to get this completed. Now this one in particular, this god will be heavily predominant on when it comes to using a bow. So, you know, your, your, your melee weapon is going to be important, but not as important as your bow your bow is going to be your main object because he, he's going to be he's like a you know the boss is a person that you're going to be able to fighting be fighting at long range and in order for you to dps him you have to hit his chest you're going to see his chest is going to be glowing and the only way you're actually able to you know get those hits in is if you use a bow now the best bows i have found that are currently right now there's going to be two that i want to recommend one one is a light bulb now the light bulb i used was the neat now this one what it does it has rate of fire has plus three bleed on hit it has just one. It's not like the best bow you could use, but the one you're gonna, but the thing you're gonna be looking for, which is key, is the rate of fire. You want to make sure that the bullets are going out super duper quickly because that's what's gonna make you get a bunch of hits and use the strategy I'm gonna give you to actually ki kill the boss. So look for a bow that has a high rate of fire. The second one I want to give you, it's the one that restores your health when you actually get a hit. It doesn't restore your health when you get a kill. It restores your health when you get a hit. So anytime you hit the boss or hit any of the ads that spawn right there in front of you, your health will be regen. Now this is mostly recommended for people who are a little bit under level. That bow would be really good. That's the compensate bow, and you should be good with that one if you're you know you're struggling with the knit or any other bow that has a really high rate of fire. As my secondary bow, I am using the Jackal's Gaze. Now this is by far the best bow currently right now in the game and I highly recommend you guys definitely try to pick this one up. If you haven't watched my video on how to obtain this bow, I highly recommend you definitely check that out. Now as far as primaries are concerned, I went ahead and used the Fang. The good thing about the Fang is since you're going to be also getting attacked by a couple of uh, you know hyenas, uh, you're going to want to use this one because it's going to give you poison on hit. And the, of course, the other one that I want to go ahead and recommend is the ceremonial staff. And I'll have a video on how to obtain this and the easiest way to actually get this for you guys who are trying to level up or trying to obtain this weapon, which I highly recommend you guys should definitely pick up. And those are the main things you're going to be concerning about. Your tools are not going to be so important, but they're still r relatively interesting if you guys are trying to go ahead and, you know, pr and play the game. Another thing I want to recommend is make sure you guys have your quiver set to max. Make sure your stabilizer gloves are at least close to being maxed. And of course, your uh, breastplate, you know, you want to have that actually pretty good because that's going to be very crucial for you to survive, especially if you're under leveled and you're trying this. So now let's talk about the mechanics of the encounter of the of the Nubus and uh, see how you guys are going to be able to actually defeat the boss. First, let's talk about the first wave mechanics that he has. He'll send out two hyenas that spawn out of his chest and these hyenas tend to crisscross. The best way to actually defeat these and avoid them is by dodging one and then dodging the other one backwards. The best solution I found that worked for me is as soon as I heard the cue that they were coming out, I would wait until I saw the first one approaching, I would dash forward and I would automatically dodge both of them. Another way that it could work as well that I also tried was shooting one with an arrow and then dodging the other one right off the bat. That is where the arrow with high rate of fire actually comes in play because you're gonna be able to shoot that one and get that, uh, get that going. The best technique I, I used that works really, really, really good is just move in a circle really really quickly without stopping if you move in a circle without stopping and you're shooting him you're going to be dodging the hyenas and you're going to be able to do the dps as he's launching those hyenas the only thing you have to worry about is the smoke bomb that he throws out but once that smoke bomb is thrown out 
you can definitely dash out of it without a problem. After you damaged him a little bit, he's going to go ahead and spawn some ads. All you got to do is clear out these ads and you guys are good to go. The only thing that I noticed when this thing happens is he'll spawn a big circle of bones that kind of traps you inside. What you're going to do is get away from that part as quickly as possible because you definitely do not want to be trapped in there when he throws the smoke. So just make sure, kill the, kill a couple ads. If you see the bones pop out, get out, you know, break down the bones, get outside, kill the ads again. Then he'll do another bone thing, kill the, kill the, you know, kill the bones, get out of there and kill the ads and you guys are golden. And then after that, it's just pretty much, he does the same mechanic, sends out the hyenas, throws the smoke. And then, you know, you DPS him a little bit. Then he's going to go ahead and spawn some real hyenas, not animated hyenas, but real ones that you're going to want to take care of. These These are actually pretty easy to do because all you got to do is make sure you have your, in your tool set, you have the smoke ability that when you press triangle, you'll be able to drop a smoke. This works really effective. It will stun the hyenas and you're able to take them out as they, uh, you know, as while they're stunned. Not only that, but you're also going to want to make sure that you keep in mind that your ammo is going to be depleted once you start shooting that many arrows. Remember, the hyenas will be dropping, or ads that you kill will be dropping ammo. So just go along, pick up the ammo as soon as your you know, arrows are being depleted, and you should have enough ammo as you work your way throughout the uh, throughout the fight. Once you went ahead and used these amazing techniques, you will then be awarded with a sword, and that sword is called the Conductor of Soul. This is a 94 quality damage 397. It has a 3%, 30% critical hit rate and a combo multiplier. So basically, anytime you do a combo, your combo will get multiplied. And it also has health on kill, which is actually pretty good and you know really, really helpful, especially if you're gonna be fighting you know longer engagements. Now you will also get a, a item called Anubis Gear Set item, and this Anubis Gear Set item will pinpoint you to a place in the map that you're going to be like trying to find that place where you're going to be like, how come I can't find it? What's going on? So the Anubis gear set, the way you're able to get the complete armor set is by defeating each god every single time we have that, you know, we have a god that spawns. So remember, the Anubis is only going to be here for seven days. The ne After the ne these seven days are over, we're going to get another god. Once we kill that god, we'll get another piece of gear. And we'll be building up on gear as we progress throughout the season. So if you're firing, trying to figure out how do I get all the Anubis gear set, the only way you're able to obtain this is to wait for next week till we have another god. We're going to get another piece of armor. And then we'll just continue getting until we collect all four pieces. And we should have our armor set. And that is how you guys not only defeat Anubis, and that is how you get the gear set. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, make sure you guys drop a comment and a like. And don't forget, guys, for all things Assassin's Creed related, make sure you keep it locked on this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.